What's going on, guys? This wrapping up day two of Aftershock 2017 with my boys in Dead. What's going on, fellas? Yo. What's up? Hanging. New metal is alive and well in Tempe, Arizona. I actually grew up in uh, Peoria, West Phoenix, went Peoria. to Arizona Shout. State. Sure. Um, so I actually captured you guys about a year ago, and I was like, this band is sick. They stay the course writing, continue to play shows and build that buzz. You guys are going to absolutely slay some stages. Fast forward, here you are at Aftershock. Yes. Yeah, thank you, dude. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Zach Yosh and Kyle Borman, by the oh, way. Oh, dude, Yosh. Absolutely. Powerline management, good dude. Zach's yeah. actually going to be speaking at a music conference we're hosting in San Francisco. Zach, Zach is, uh, dude, I went to high school with Zach. He's yeah. like, dude, I was in one of his uh, early movies, bro. He used to make movies. I was in that. So, yeah, Zach's like old school. That's sure. awesome. We're showing Zach way too much love right now. We are. Dude, let's just talk about Zach and Kyle for this whole interview. Yeah, right? he's, cool. they're, they're backstage with Escape the Fate and Asking Alexandria right now. Right. They are. Fuck those guys. Doing, let's get back to Aftershock. It. Killing it. <laughs> and Whitney Payton. Yeah, well. and Whitney. Shout killing out to it. Whitney. We've uh, featured her a few times. So, rad uh, alternative hip-hop artist. Be sure to check her out, at Whitney Payton. Uh, but back to your guys' music, man. Really dig what you guys are doing. Thank um, you. You got a song out called Anti Everything. Um, just digging the whole overall vibe with that, and it's heavy as fuck. Tell me a little bit about that process in the studio and the producer you collaborated with. Well, we did it with John Feldman out in, uh, in L.A. Uh, we started it at home, though. David, uh, our guitar player, has a studio. We started it there. We did all of it just to, to kind of make a band that, that existed, existed that we weren't hearing that we wanted to hear. Uh, Feldy heard it. Uh, he brought us out there, and he brought us to the next level pretty much. Um, so that song, when we were out there... Uh, it was a phrase, anti everything was a phrase that I was that I had jotted down in my phone. I just tried to write down lyrics or thoughts or anything into my notepad. Mm -hmm. uh, that that's the phrase that we that I went with for that song. So wrote everything around that. Uh, they had the dudes had had put down the music for it, and uh, I just tried to wrote wrote to what they had put down. I dig it, man. I was talking with uh, Pat Thetic, the drummer for Anti Flag, earlier. Yeah, um, nice. he, he gave me his two cents on their uh, political movement going on. Right, resist. Um, but keep keep the good vibes going, man. So I really dig what you guys are doing. You got an album out called Misanthrope, yeah. which that's obviously one of the leads. Um, you know, what's next for you guys? Obviously, you're doing this big tour, great opportunity to promote that record. Are you guys going back in the studio with John soon? Are you going to tour on this for a while, or what can we expect here? Well, the album album just came out about three months ago. So, it, it, yeah, it's all about pushing this. Uh, we've done all these festivals. We did Rock on the Range all the way through Rock Allegiance. Carolina Rebellion, everything. We've done all of them. Uh, so to be out here, and, and it's amazing. And shout out to uh, Danny Wimmer Presents. Yeah, like, Clay Bush and Danny are killing Clay, us. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. Gary as well. And uh, we're just having the best time doing these shows. The reception's been amazing. Um, we're, we're After this, we do the Loudwire Awards. We're doing the, the pre-party with uh, Beartooth and Avatar tomorrow. Woo! Yeah, we're up for be good time. Be best new artist. Uh, so we're gonna, you know, maybe we'll win. Um, we love our fans so much for voting for us and everything like that. It's been amazing. We're doing a tour with Pop Evil coming up next month. Uh, direct support for those for those guys. Um, and then uh, Ship Rocked first thing in January. So, Ooh, man, just just supporting Misanthrope and uh, just trying to get it out there. We're still as much as it feels like everybody knows about us. Like we're still kind of brand new. You know what's cool about that though? If you write great songs and you connect with people on stage and then on your records. You know, sky's the limit. I think you guys do that. Um, that's why I thought I saw a show a year ago. These guys just put out a record in July, um, so it's been more recent than that. So it's cool to see the progress, um, and it comes off very organic and genuine. Um, you know, you got 50,000 people here that were rocking you guys. You guys played Capitol Stage earlier. Um, right. Tremendous crowd there. Um, so it's cool to see that progress in such a short time. I would agree, 100%. Uh, it's wild to see all the progress so quickly. It's just, especially with their album being out only three months, it, it means a lot. It's wild. Well, you certainly got some uh, newfound fans here at rockstardreams.com in San Francisco. Uh, we appreciate the time, guys. We're just wrapping up here at Aftershock, hanging with my boys in Dead. Be on the lookout for that record. Tune in to Loudwire Music Awards, which are happening in L.A. Yep. Vote for these guys. Support them. Get that merch. Thanks for watching us. Stay tuned for more. Thank you.